All right guys, so in today's little adventure, I'm gonna clean my bike. Pretty simple, right? Um, I'm actually gonna try something new. I've never used this stuff before, but somebody recommended it to me. Um, so we're gonna see how it goes. And unfortunately, I left all my cleaning tools back at home in California in storage. Didn't think that one through. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bike. She dirty. I don't know how much you can pick up on there, but uh, mess. To be honest with you guys, I have not cleaned my bike in oof, probably two months. Of course, a month of that was us just kind of traveling, so the bike really didn't get a whole lot of riding. But, um, yeah. Some dirt up here. A lot of dust, really, more than anything. What I'm hoping out of this uh, cleaner, because my last cleaner I used was pretty decent, um, but you clean it, and then you can just use kind of some uh, touch-up stuff, the, the waterless wash and it'll stay nice. So I'm hoping this will kind of do the same thing as that. We'll see. I do have some things coming in the future. I cannot wait. Getting rid of this ugly ass pipe. I actually ordered a Bassani pipe and go, go figure, everything is out of order or out of stock, I guess. And so uh, no Bassani pipe for me yet, but uh, we're gonna be in Daytona. So we'll see what we can find in Daytona. But anyway, yeah, that's that. So like with any wash, you always want to start by rinsing it down. Um, unless you're doing the water wash, then obviously <laughs> don't rinse down your bike. Um, but yeah, you just want to get it wet. I like to go through and actually kind of spray it real good, get as much dirt as I can off of it. And then I come back with the spray that I'm going to be actually cleaning with, spray it on there, do a nice little rinse. And uh, yeah. So according to the instructions, after you are ready to spray it, spray it on there and then dry it off, or I'm sorry, not dry it off, but rinse it off quickly. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna start on the dark side of the bike, at least where the sun's not. Gives me a little bit of extra time to uh, rinse it off, right? Cause I'm gonna spray down the entire bike first. Well, let's see. Well, that's weird. I'll be right back. All right, so it'll probably help if I open up the little nozzle thing, right? But look at that kind of like it you can adjust it to do less I don't really know how much I should or shouldn't put on to be honest with you but I'm just gonna freaking Florida oh well it's because of pain but uh, yeah I'm just gonna straight spray the bike down and then come back and rinse it off with water and we'll see what it does just as a note for you guys with clockworks they do not recommend using anything on their windshield except for their own cleaner um, I don't know if that's a sales gimmick, but I'm not gonna risk it. Um, I will say that I have used other cleaner before and it just doesn't work right. So I only use water on there. Um, I do have their cleaner. I kind of left that back in California as well. So I won't be using that today, but we'll just use water. It works just as good. So once you're done with kind of scrubbing it down and it came with a sponge. So I use a sponge to scrub it in. It says to spray it until there's like no film. So you kind of want to have it squeaky. You don't want it to be like filmy I guess I'm not sure how to say that but you get my point right you don't want to have any of that soap on there at all so it says literally spray the heck out of it so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'll so, be back just to make the point squeaky 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 all right I think that's what they're trying to get me to do you got to wash it all off because I had a spot here. I wish I uh, got it for you guys, but I rubbed it and it was just kind of filmy filling. It didn't feel uh, squeaky like that. So that's what you want to get to make sure all of the soap is washed off because otherwise it dries funky. Oh, and along with all my cleaner back in California, I also left all of my wash rags, but I think we'll be able to do just fine. Okay, so of course there's a train. But this is what I was referring to, you guys. So as you can see, I didn't put any cleaner on this at all. That's just kind of water spray off from when I cleaned the bike. All you do is you take a nice microfiber cloth and put just a tiny bit of water. Like honestly, I just got this little corner area here. And you just come in and scrub it. And I don't know, Clockworks just makes a pretty savage uh, product. It works just fine every time. I'm probably gonna need to put a little bit more water though because this windshield is hot and it's drying quick. But that's all I do. Now, as far as the bugs go, 
Um, you do have to use shine work stuff to get that off, but if you're just on the road and you don't care about bugs like I don't, because I don't really care about the bugs, it's gonna get dirty again, right? I just come through and scrub off what I can. Um, again, this is not a tutorial on how to make your bike perfect. This is how to make it uh, ride clean, if I would say that. Because <laughs> it ain't a perfect bike, it's just clean enough to look good going down the road. The uh, little spots are gone except for the bugs. Um, and if you spend a couple more minutes and you uh, really uh, dig into it, you can get out the bugs. And there you have it. I would say it's a uh, pretty decent clean. I mean, my bike shines pretty good anyway, just because this is an amazing paint, um, in my opinion, obviously. But not bad. I think I probably will end up going back to um, something else just because, uh, I don't know. The ease of use one thing i've noticed about this um already and i don't know if it'll dry out a little bit better but i've always had issues with these um clamps here they just look really really messed up so uh, i don't know if that's from the washes or what but um we'll see if anything i will just kind of go back to the mcguire's or try out uh, clockwork stuff because like i said i've used clockworks windshield wash but that's about it never anything for the bike so all right, well, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial on how to clean your bike like somebody who rides it all the time, which basically means you don't clean it. All right guys, so this is just um, updated from uh, after cleaning it, I guess I should say. So it's been dried up for a little bit. You'll have to excuse any dust or dirt. Um, it's pollen season here in Florida, apparently. So a lot of stuff floating around. But I wanted to show you guys, so, I understand that uh, some stuff like that is not, don't worry about that, that's not what I'm referring to, but these water spots. Now I know that I probably could have done a better job at drying it off, but as you guys can see, it comes right off, right? Which leads me to believe it is the film that they said. So, like I said, they wanted you to rinse it off as much as you can, otherwise you end up with the film everywhere. Now, I get that, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because my last cleaner, I didn't even have to worry about that. Um, so that's a bummer. As you can see here, there was some on the pipe and it already got burned in. And that's just from me driving it like 20 feet, not even that far. Um, so I don't know that I'll use this stuff again, but I wanted to update you guys on that. Otherwise, I mean, the shine looks really good, but just, you gotta be super careful where you put it. I wouldn't suggest anything on the engine, um, just on the bike itself really. But uh, I'm gonna go back to something different. Like I said, I really like the Meguiar's. Um, kind of goes on as suds and it foams up. Any kind of foam spray is really nice. So yeah, 